Welcome back everybody. Today we are doing a Belcash and Artemis video. Um, so yeah, I am super stoked to do this video. We will be completing the Artemis set to you day. So very excited about that. And without further ado, let's go ahead and start this, uh, get this unboxing going. And if you haven't checked out my last video, please go check it out. It was a lot of, it was a lot of fun to do. Um, very, very interesting. We'll needlessly say that. All right, so let's get the gaze out of the stadium. And here we go. We have um, the Hypersphere Dual Pack, Dusk Belcash B5, and Right Artemis A5. So we have Left Artemis A5, now we have right, so definitely excited about that. Um, the stats are right here. Um, what disc is this? I think it's seven. Yeah, so we get seven. And then the, I don't remember if this is the right disc for Artemis. I could be wrong. I mean, not disc, uh, the right um, driver. But either way, let's go ahead and start unboxing. Oh yeah, and the uh, Hasbro parts are the Belcash Lair, the I mean the Belcash chip, the Dusk Lair, the Seven Disc, and TH16. Then we have the Right Artemis chip and Lair because technically there is a chip. I don't know why they show it together. They should show it like this. Um, so we have the Right chip, the Right Lair. This is power um so d74 and th01 i think this is supposed to be trick could be trick looks like trick so yeah all right the first one we're gonna do is bell cash here we go boom all right, so we have the driver, the disc, which is seven. Um, hey, we got a four star for seven, so that's pretty exciting. Get yeah, one, two, three, and four. And then real quickly, the slopes and layers. The slopes, they're, they're tighter. They're slightly tighter. <laughs> Definitely like it. Um, I like how it's... It, it it almost matches completely. I like how they didn't leave this unpainted. And I like how it's the activated version. So where the burst stopper would pop out like right about here and stop it from bursting. So I like the fact that they added that in. Um, granted, the gimmick's not there. But yeah, very cool. Let's pop out the chip. There's the QR code. The Dusk uh the dusk bell cash chip pretty nice pretty pretty nice the only thing um i wish they would have done is fully painted it because like we get either the top layer the top half or we get the bottom half so it would have been nice if we would have had like a full bell cash painted chip um but it is what it is so let's do a test spin real quick. Three, two, one. And as you can see, we are using the uh, vertical drop stadium. Probably one of my favorite stadiums. Okay, so yeah, dusk bell cast right there. Let's go ahead and push it off to the side. Now, let's get into Right Artemis. <sighs> All right, and then we got the Power Disc. And I think this is supposed to be Trick. It looks like the Trick Driver. Yeah, that looks like the Trick Driver. But I could be wrong. Um, wouldn't be the first time. All right, so power, let's see. Oh, we got a two-star, not bad, not bad at all. 
So not a bad pull. We got a two star and a four star. Would have been nice if we got two four stars. Um, the orange lair for right Artemis. Now here is the other version, the version for Slingshock. Okay, so very cool. I like the colors this time around as well. Um, last time it was very dark, very um, dark and glossy. This time it's very bright, vibrant, um, and fun. I like it. It almost gives me plastic gin era vibes because of how um, bright the colors are. All right, let's do a test spin. The slopes are really loose. Three, two, one. Okay, now let's do our first battle. Three, two, one. Very nice. Maybe it's a Artemis win. And that's a draw. Okay. Very much so a draw. Okay, let's get into round two. Three, two, one. And that is a relaunch. I swear, man, these relaunches kill me. Three, two, one. Nice use of the vertical layer of the stadium. Definitely using the slopes to the advantage. Okay, that one went to right Artemis. Barely, barely went to right Artemis. Three, two, one. So right Artemis uh, jumped over Belcash, came back around, hit right here. Belcash swooped back around, caught it in the pinch point, and it hit right at the wall and burst. Very nicely done. Okay, so let's get into a fun battle here. Um, let's do left versus right Artemis. Seeing as we have the the two bays, let's battle them out real quick. Three, two, one. Let it very nicely, very nice use of the slopes of the stadium. And that's a draw. Okay. Three, two, one. Let it rip. So I think moving forward with this next generation of Beyblade, um, I feel like they need to make the stadiums bigger, like twice the size of this. I know it sounds a little overkill, but with how small the stadiums are, it just, they're, I don't know, they're just too small. Three, two, one. Like with how compact this stadium is, if they would have made it a look like at least twice as large, there would have been more. The Beyblades would have more room to uh, just spin around in and probably get better battles out of this stadium if it was twice, at least twice the size. Okay, that was a right Artemis win. So now let's go back. I'm just gonna do something fun real quick. Why not? All right. 
Oh, and for all of you who don't know the gimmick between the Artemis layers, before I actually 100% do it, um, I will go ahead and show you. So with the Artemis layers, for all of you who don't know, you can actually take this chip, spin it the opposite direction as if it was a disc or a driver, and then you can pull apart the, um, the layer. So technically this was the first fusion layer in Beyblade Burst. Um, next up was the Helios and Hyperion for BU. So very cool, very cool idea. And honestly, I would like to see this moving forward in the next version of Beyblade, like in, in the next wave of Beyblade. This is such a cool gimmick to take um, half of a bay and combine it with another half. I would like to see that and then just see the bays be able to be dual spin like um, the HMS bays were. Definitely would be cool. So let's, enough rambling, do this. And we're going to get these bays set up to where we can see if now power... Okay, there is one version of left and right Artemis. That is the right version of the combined two. Here is the left version of the combined two. Yeah, I've always liked this type of gimmick, um, especially with the zero G bays. That was actually pretty cool how you, you were able to um, just combine layers. That's just always been a cool thing. All right, first up is the, the left version of left and right Artemis versus Dusk Bell Cash. All right, three, two, one. Rip. And like I was saying, I want them to go back to the old, uh, they need to go back to the metal fight launcher where it actually like hooked into the uh, into the bay because the metal fight launchers worked pretty good you really didn't have much issue with getting the bays off of the launcher three two one All right, so that was a Dusk Bell Cash win. Give me just one second. I'm grabbing a longer ripcord real quick. So then that way we can do this right. Okay, Dusk Bell Cash took the first win. Three, two, one. Got rip. Ooh, first finish by Dusk. Very nice. Okay, so now we have to unfortunately go back to the other way. All right. And if Hasbro is a part of this, I feel like going forward, there should be no more ripcord launchers. It should just be string launchers. I will pay 20 bucks a Beyblade if they have a string launcher with every release. All right, uh, Dusk Bell Clash versus Right Artemis. Three, two, one. Right, and like I was saying, if these actually hooked into the Beyblade themselves, we would have less error. That's the issue we have is these don't actually hook into the bay. They just grab the bay and they can just slide off real easily. All right, three, two, one. Let it rip. Let it rip. Artemis just jumping around the stadium. Who's it gonna be? Or will it be a draw? Who knows? Oh, 
the right combined version took a survivor finish. Moving on to round two. All right. Three, two, one. Very nice use of the slopes. Bellcatch did almost uh, ramp out the stadium and hit right here and hop back down. So very nice use of the slopes. I always like it when the slopes are utilized. And Dust Bellcash actually took that victory. So we are tied up. I don't know. I don't know if we'll get a burst finish this time around. Three, two, one. Let it rip. And there we go again. Yeah, no, because if we had string launchers just with every single release, it wouldn't take so long to get these set up. Three, two, one. And like I said, with this bay blade, with this bay stadium being as small as it is, it just the hypersphere gimmick doesn't work as well. That is a draw. Um, like I was saying, the hypersphere gimmick doesn't work as well because the stadium's just too small. If they would have made it even just slightly bigger, maybe maybe two times bigger is a, a little overkill, but even just like another half the size of the stadium bigger, you know, that would have been perfect because then the hypersphere gimmick would have worked a lot better and then made this wall, this this length all the way around. That would have been, it just would have been so much nicer. Rip. Rip. Ooh, stalled out right Artemis. And Dust Belcash takes a victory. Very nice, very nice. So Bel Dust Belcash did win. All right, so let's go ahead and get this video wrapped up while I'm doing, while I'm getting to ready to wrap up this video. I will put these back together the right way. <laughs> yeah, so like I was saying though, while I'm wrapping this video up, I would like the next generation to be more like this, compact size, but be able to fuse the bay, the bay layers. Um, just be really cool to see. Just, I would like to see more of this. This, this is cool. And then not just like, oh, left or, you know, left bays can only combine with left bays. Right bays can only combine with right bays. No, make it, make it completely universal. And that would be a cool way to start off like, uh, the next generation of Beyblade. So I'm really, I'm really kind of hoping there would be more of this. Okay. So yeah, this will conclude my video on Dusk Belcash and Wright Artemis. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, and as always, three, two, one, let it rip. Have a great day.